Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. We're gonna continue our series on gas laws. If you're interested in kinetic molecular theory, Boyle's law, Charles law, back up a video or two. You've passed those already. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the upcoming videos about the gas laws. This lesson, all about Gay-Lussac's law. This law is going to relate pressure and temperature. You're gonna need your calculator, your notes, and something to write with. Let's get started. Okay, so if we consider there to be three gas laws, this is the third gas law. Again, kinetic molecular theory, I keep saying this at the beginning of all the gas laws videos, but kinetic molecular theory, that's going to explain why the gas molecules behave the way they do. These gas laws are going to kind of describe what we observe, what are they doing. So this last gas law is called Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law deals with pressure and temperature. Boyle's law was only pressure and volume, and those were inverse to each other. Charles's law, volume and temperature, and they were directly proportioned. Gay-Lussac also involves temperature. We have our container of gas. We've got our gas particles. And if we increase the heat on our Bunsen burner, and if we increase the temperature, what's going to happen to our gas particles? Okay, so remember our gas particles are gonna start moving faster. They're going to be making more and more and more collisions. So as the temperature increases, that means the kinetic energy of our gases are also going to increase because we're having increased collisions. And remember, if we're having increased collisions, that means we're having increased pressure. So if the volume stays constant, if the volume stays constant, this box, this container can't get any bigger. And if we're heating up all these particles and these particles are moving faster, faster, having more and more and more collisions, then the only option is for the pressure to increase. So pressure and temperature also have a direct proportional relationship. They're directly proportional. As the pressure increases, the temperature is going to increase if the temperature increases, the pressure has to increase. Those collisions start increasing, so the pressure has to increase. Let's look at an example of Gay-Lussac's law. Okay, so I've got test tubes, just capped test tubes. And so this is what, this is what the pressure of the balloon looks like at just room temperature. Let's decrease the temperature of the gas in the blue balloon and see what happens to its pressure. The red balloon, let's put it in boiling water and let's increase the temperature of the gas in the red balloon. Let's watch what happens to its pressure. So you can clearly see that the relationship between temperature and pressure is, a, is directly proportionate. We've got the gas in the blue balloon, we cooled its temperature, and look at what happened with its pressure. Pressure decreased significantly. We have the gas that was in the red balloon. We increased that temperature. Pressure also increased. Let's look at that in a math problem. A fixed volume of oxygen gas exerts a pressure of one atmosphere at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. What's the pressure of gas when it is heated to 100 degrees Celsius? So let's go through and let's identify all of our variables. So our first number, one atmosphere. That's a pressure. Atmosphere is a pressure unit. One atmosphere, pressure one. That's connected to at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. We've got our temperature one, 25 degrees Celsius. As our other gas laws, we've got to have that in Kelvin. So we've got to add 273. So 25 plus 273 is going to be 298 Kelvins. Let's keep reading. What's the pressure? We're looking for pressure two when we've got a new temperature, so we have our temperature to 100 degrees Celsius plus 273. That one's easy, we've got 373. Okay, so remember Gay-Lussac's law, we're dealing with pressure and temperature. Pressure one over temperature one equals pressure two over temperature two. Let's put those numbers in. Our pressure one, that's one atmosphere. Our temperature one, that was 298. Our pressure two, that's what we're looking for, so I'm gonna put an X there. Our temperature two, 373. Now, our temperature increased, so we expect our pressure to increase. Again, we're going to cross multiply and divide. So 373 times one divided by 298 equals 
And if we are going to um, keep our three sig figs here, three sig figs, then we would have 1.25, 1.25 atmospheres. So our temperature increased and our pressure also increased. So that looks good. Let's look at one more math problem. A gas with a pressure of 2.3 atmospheres at 27 degrees Celsius is heated to 108, 128 degrees Celsius. What is the new pressure? So again, let's identify our variables. We've got pressure one, that was 2.3 atmospheres. Our temperature one, that's in Celsius. We'll have to add 273 to that to get that into Kelvin. 27 plus 273, and I'm getting 300 Kelvins. Um, we heated to a new temperature, 128. Again, we've got to add that to 273 to get Kelvins. I'm getting 401. And we must be looking for the new pressure. So again, we're going to use our pressure and our temperature relationship. They are direct. So since our temperature is increasing, we would expect for our pressure to also increase. Pressure one, we have 2.3 atmospheres. Temperature one, 300 kelvins. Pressure two, that's what we're solving for. And our second temperature, 401 kelvin. So we're gonna cross multiply 401 times 2.3 divided by 300. And so our pressure two, I am getting to be 3.1 atmospheres. We showed an increase in temperature, so our pressure also increased. Okay, so that was Gay-Lussac's law. Remember, pressure, temperature. You're going to need to understand the concept of the law, not just the calculations. You've got to be able to do both. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to use all three laws put together, Boyle's, Charles, and Gay-Lussac. We're going to put all that together and use the combined gas law, and I'm going to work some practice problems. So make sure and stay tuned. Until next time, bye y'all.